Okay, the following you should be able to recreate somehow. Not necessarily for a test question, but so that you've got all the terms straight. So we've got a gas, a liquid, and a solid. Okay. Uh, going from the liquid to the solid is called what? I am um, melting. Yeah, there we go. That's what I was looking for. Melting, and the other way would be freezing. Here, uh, going from the liquid to the gas, that's boiling. Or vaporization, that's another term you could use for that. Uh, and then going from the gas to the liquid, that's condensation. And then you can go from the solid to the gas, or the gas to the solid. Solid to gas, uh, what's that one? Yeah, sublimation. And going from the gas to the solid, that's uh, deposition. Now let's get all our delta H terms straight. So. Boiling, that's the delta H of vaporization. Melting, that's the delta H of fusion. Okay? Condensation, you could call that the delta H of condensation, or you could just say minus delta H of vaporization. Okay, so it's just really negative of this delta H. And this, you could call it just, we'll just say simply delta minus delta H of fusion, because it's the opposite. When you get to sublimation, delta H sublimation equals delta H vaporization plus delta H fusion. And then delta H of deposition equals negative delta H of sublimation. Okay, so somehow get those terms in your brain. Don't necessarily need this for a question per se, but it'd be more like uh, I'm going through a freezing process. Which delta H should I look for? And then you'd say, oh, I just need delta H of fusion, I take the negative of it. Or you'd say, oh, I'm going to do a deposition. Which delta H should I look for? Oh, I'm looking for negative delta H of vaporization and negative delta H of fusion and add those two up.